say three of the arrests were made after officers stopped drivers for erratic driving or other moving violations. One woman was arrested when she was found unresponsive in the driver's seat at a Bedford gas station. She was arrested at the hospital after it was determined she was highly intoxicated. Police say the number of arrests over the weekend is alarming, but say the most concerning arrest was that of a 17-year-old who was injured when the car he was driving rolled over on Liberty Hill Road early on Sunday morning. The investigation there is still ongoing. The operator was arrested for driving while intoxicated. And the investigation concerns whether or not that operator came from a underage drinking party. Chief John Perfonsky says those five arrests bring to over 60 people that had been arrested for DWI this year. That's up 40 percent over last year. And that's an alarming increase um, here in town. As you know, we had two fatal motor vehicle accidents back to back on July 29th and July 30th of this year here in Bedford. As a result, we instituted an intensive traffic enforcement program. Police are intensifying their patrols and are focusing in on the signs of impaired driving. Signaling for turns, staying uh, within uh, the fog lines and the yellow lines, um, speeding, either excessive speeding or uh, sometimes very, very slow. Um, making wide turns, um, things of that nature that are telltales to officers. Now, if you find that you are too impaired to drive a car home or to wherever you may need to go, you can call a cab, call a friend, call a family, because making the decision to drive is not worth putting your life at risk or those out on the roadway. Live in Bedford, Suzanne Roundtree, WMUR News 9.